What's up, pizza? It's Corey Vincent here, and this is Video Game Bang, brought to you by NerdReactor.com. What are you reacting to? Corsair Gaming, come sail away with us, and Ant Lion Audio, hear the roar. We have a fantastic show for you because we have some fantastic people joining us in the show. We have David Webb, uh, you know him, you're used to him. Uh, Aaron Carter's here, as always, my co-host, my partner in crime, so to speak. Uh, and Jada joins us all the way from Las Vegas. Uh, she spent seven days in Vegas, hanging out at CES uh, with the glitz and glam and celebrity. Uh, so we're going to let her talk all about that. Uh, we're also talking about David Bowie, God rest his soul, as you can hear the song in the background. We're talking about uh, Snoop Doggy Dog. Uh, he has some beef with Microsoft and Bill Greats, so we're going to let him talk through that at some point during the show. Uh, and really what you can expect is just a lot of fun. Guys, we're just having fun today. Uh, as always, you can check us out on Patreon.com. Help support the show. Uh, we need your monies to help us do this show better. That's the bottom line. Uh, that's the world we live in. Money. Uh, you can check us out on YouTube. YouTube.com slash video game. The video game bang. Twitter at video game bang. And if you have not yet already, please go to iTunes dot com whatever your app i don't care and subscribe to the show and rate it five stars we need those rates that's how the show gets better um that's it that's all i got to say hope you guys enjoy this week's welcome to another exciting episode of video game bang your weekly source for all things video game. Featuring your fearless hosts, Corey Vincent. I'm pretty much uh, Microsoft and Marvel. The cans are on. It's when the issue gets real. I don't know get shot look. during the day. And Aaron Carter. By the armor, I equip it, and it's like pink thong. The guy that delivers vending machine items in my, in my job. He can play <laughs> the right the rhino. <laughs> Fill up your Mountain Dew and grab your Doritos. It's time for Video Game Bang. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Video Game Bang is back in your life, and it is a beautiful, uh, sunshiny day in Sacramento, California. Uh, the birds are singing, the bees are buzzing, and it is January 13th, 2016. How does that make you feel, Aaron? The year of our Lord, January 13th. <laughs> uh, it it's fine. I mean, it's the just fine. Still starting. Yeah, it's yeah, the year's just starting. You think 2016 is going to be a good year for Mr. Carter? Uh, every year is a good year for Mr. God Carter. Damn, I don't even know why I ask. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, this is going to be a great year. Well, Aaron is true to form, full <clears throat> of himself. Uh, moving on to someone who hates himself. And I know this wow. for a fact. David Webb, how's it hey! going? Hey! Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm dying suck. inside. Let's I'm get, dying let's, inside. Let's get to the <laughs> meat greedy. Why do you hate yourself? Uh... It's Jane yeah, is on the show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Web, I off, Web, so you know, I offer counseling sessions every Thursday night. Oh, God. Man. I'm over it. <laughs> yeah. You need Jada to counsel it, you. That just seems you know like what? a lot of booze. There might be a problem. There <laughs> might be a lot of alcohol. You guys is. are assholes. That's I actually have really like. good advice. I wa I live, live many walks of life, and I have great advice to give many people. Many people come to me advi for advice. Advice one, here's a shot. <laughs> yeah. Advice two, here's another shot. I actually do shot. not. <laughs> I've heard, I've heard I actually, with Jada. Let's just I, work this shit out. Drunk. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I actually do not incorporate alcohol in any of my treatments. Well, that's... It's just IV right, right up into you. Yeah. 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 It's just crack okay. <laughs> right we prefer heroin. There it Bring is. your own spoon there it and is. a lighter. Oh, Have you seen that video? People trying uh, crack for the first time? No. no. It's, it's, a, it's a parody. <laughs> like the BuzzFeed, you know, when they bring out, oh, people yeah. trying, you know, yeah. mustard for the first time or something like that. It's a parody. <laughs> And, and it's it looks so real. Like I almost believed it at first because yeah. they were like, "So this is it? This is all this is?" Oh. And it's like two people sitting at a table. <laughs> they got the colorful background, like they do on Buzzfeed. Yeah. And they're like, "Oh, this is oh, okay. That's cool." And then they just start shooting up right there, and they're like all tripping out, and for it's it's hilarious. You should go find it. It's hilarious. That's funny. I like it. Um, there's a lot going on in the video game world. Uh, Jada is joining us. Uh, I don't think I gave her official introduction. Jada, welcome to the show. Thank you. Back from CES. Had you a blast. Were, you were all over. How long were you actually in Vegas? Eight days. God Eight damn. Days. That is there more from Vegas. Sunday to Monday. Than I would ever like to see. Oh, no. I didn't <laughs> have enough time. Well, it seems like you actually did fun stuff, though. You got to meet some cool people. I, for mm -hmm. the first time, concede my jealousy. Uh, I'm not that much of a jealous person, honestly. But That's when awesome. I saw <laughs> that Jada was hanging out with 
the one and only Quentin Rampage Jackson. Mm-hmm. I was jealous. Yeah, it was cool. Me and Narvin were just chilling, just talking, just bullshitting about games, UFC, Rainbow Six, all types of just bullshitting for like an hour or two with them. It was cool. We ended up uh, leaving one party and went to another party and went, took him with us. Really? Yeah. Yeah, he rolled what? with. Yeah, it was cool. Oh. Had a good time that night. Did you uh, you put in a word for the VGB, right? He's going to be a next guest, right? Um, Not yet. God damn. God damn. What, is, <laughs> what, is, what have you done for me lately, Corey? Uh, nothing for you, wow. but I will tell you what I have done. <laughs> uh, and I did this recently. It's not really gaming related, but I think it's life related because this is like therapy, as Aaron says for us. Mm-hmm. Um, my wife, for the first time, asked me to go buy pads at the store. First time you ever bought pads before? Yeah. <clears throat> have you done this, Webb? Nope. See? And we've been married for an adequate amount of time, right? You and Webb? Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Webb asked me to go buy his pads this week. Yeah. Uh-huh. It was really weird. It threw That's me for a loop. <laughs> no, but uh, it, I went through such range of emotions when I did this. Like, it was tough. She, Jamie asked me to do it once. You said no? No, I got out of it because I was like, I don't know what kind you need. There's See? so many choices. And there's there's multiple your smart colors. man right there. No, I don't know. I you should have that- even said that. You should have just went in there, bought the worst looking thing that you can find. <laughs> These are napkins. Oh, and then brought it back. It'd be like, just oh, napkins. You should have brought you And a brought, pen to roll it up. You guys are exactly. <laughs> this is a roll of paper towels. Pins oh my God. and duct tape. You guys are terrible. You should have done it. been like, here, stop the bleeding. Here's some bandages. God damn it. <laughs> damn you guys. When I was in the, my first experience with that, I was in this in like Walmart and there was this guy in the aisle and he had like two boxes in his hands. Yeah. And he looked like <laughs> like he had to just choose if if it was life and death, oh right? God. And it he is. was just like he's just looking back and then he looked at me and he's like, I don't know what I'm doing here, dude. And I was like, I don't know what you're doing <laughs> either, dude. <laughs> that's, oh my God. that's the day Aaron okay. decided I'm never getting married. <laughs> okay. Okay. Like, so They're fucking expensive too. They are. They are. A, every woman has a preference for what type. So if you just ask your wife what type they want, they'll tell you which Cotton one it is. Cotton swabs and duct tape. <laughs> God Too damn you, Aaron. <laughs> God damn you. Too many Second, emails. though, I have a really odd story. So I work at CVS. You know, we sell the feminine hygiene products. Mm-hmm. Wait, you do? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I had this older lady come down my uh, down the feminine hygiene aisle. She's probably at least 40, 50 years oh, old. Oh, okay. And she was looking for- I was thinking 70, 80. No, yeah. She's like 40, 50, and she's like- She's like, yeah, I'm looking to get pads for my mom, but I don't know which ones to get her. I'm like, diapers. I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> That's for like, your mother. Like, Everything like, is yeah, diapers. Like, <laughs> I, like, I don't get it. What Jeez. do you mean? Like, like, you you should like, a you buy pads all the time, so you should have an idea. Yeah. But then also, it's your mother. You should kind of have an idea. You've been to her house, I'm sure. You've seen when you go through. But you said she was stuff. really old looking, right? I, I don't. Shouldn't remember. the cycle be done? <laughs> Thank she you. Should, yeah. she, I was gonna say that. Isn't or maybe that it was part, for her daughter. Isn't that I'm part sorry. Of her life okay. Maybe it was for her daughter. Maybe I had it that makes more sense. Maybe I had it for her daughter. She could have yeah. been like, actually, my mother is the Guinness Book World Record holder. <laughs> <For> uh, <laughs> longest <laughs> period. <laughs> longest <laughs> longest <laughs> yeah. continual period. <laughs> yeah. Susan Big Bleederson is her name. God. So when I got, yeah, I went to the aisle. I see. I did the same thing. I was like, I don't know what the hell to buy. I've never been in this aisle before. So she actually sent me photos or link. To the exact one. Jamie there watches the show. You can give her ideas. There you go. <laughs> so I go. I make my way to the aisle. I did spend like three or four minutes looking at the diapers because they're made by the same company. <laughs> and they look vaguely. I don't know. You know, the, the bag yeah, looks the same. Are they going to be like one day you got to wear these? <laughs> <laughs> Multiple use. I was looking at them. Oh, God. And no. so I finally turn no. around. I'm smart enough to turn around. And I was like, oh, okay. This is yes, they're much usually on the opposite. more reasonable packaging. Yes. What store? Uh, this is Rayleigh's. Okay. Okay. And so Usually I'm they're opposite of I carry it and I'm kinda like hiding it by my leg oh my God. a little bit, like kinda doing that little shuffle when you're holding something. You're it's not, not supposed like to. you're buying yeah. them for yourself. You're just buying a fucking normal thing. I don't understand it's why not guys normal. have such a, I don't understand why guys have such an issue with buying if, pads or I, I'm Well, go here's the next com- part though. Here, okay, here's the part. Ahead, go I, I Okay, continue. The I was still building my confidence. So I walked to the uh <laughs> the check yourself out. Aisle. Oh I was gonna. God. I was gonna yeah. ask that too. Where <laughs> yeah. did you go? No, I went to the you know check myself out. Aisle. But now they charge ten cents for bags. Yeah, which is crazy. But go ahead. So I declined. <laughs> of course, I'm not gonna pay <laughs> ten cents. And as I'm walking, I start seeing a herd of women coming towards me. <laughs> did you throw it at them? Right? No. Here's the thing. Drop like, them on the floor <laughs> and run. <laughs> this is where oh, everything God. flipped around. I kind of was like, you know, what I'm doing right now is pretty boss. 
Mm. I think if I walk proudly with these feminine hygiene pads, <laughs> it's going to make me seem like I'm an awesome oh my mate. God. God. Or confused. Oh God. <laughs> <Maybe>. <laughs> hey. We got a subscriber on that. Subscriber was like, "You did it, man." <laughs> what was the name? Uh, what? Oh, it was uh. I I just I'm at, I'm curious because somebody said they were gonna toasty toasters. All right, whatever. Oh uh, God. so long story short, uh, I by the end I went through a full transitional period. This whole thing happened in like 10 minutes, oh God. but it was like the length of a movie emotionally. Oh, my God. <laughs> I went through like, I don't want to do this. All Who right, would play I'll you in the this. movie, Corey? What Keanu Reeves? Uh, no, Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah that's never right. won an Oscar for it, but he not, would. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> DiCaprio. He's not winning an Oscar for a bear. He's not yes. winning an Oscar for pads. Uh, yeah. But I recommend it. If you have a, a woman uh, who is going through her monthlies and, you know, they're, they're irritable. Uh, tired, you know, they work hard. Just do it for once. It'll make you feel good. Web, starting with you. Good Lord. <laughs> and I want to Instagram. I, I want you to Twitch it. <laughs> we do it. I'll periscope it. Periscope it. Oh, God. Thing. That's terrible. Guys, I don't know which ones to get. <laughs> so uh, before we jump in there, too, because uh, we're going to dig into Jada's experience at CES. Um, but I want to talk about David Bowie. Uh, this was some of the sad news to come out last week. Uh, it's not video game related per se. Actually, was there a David Bowie video game? He had a lot of songs in Rock Band. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay, Good enough. Yeah, right? yeah, but he didn't have like a Michael Jackson themed? No, there was what? no David Bowie dancing game. Or David game. Bowie's karaoke. Star no. Ride or something like that? No, there wasn't anything like that at all. Uh, Aaron, they might have had like a spin off of like Labyrinth. There might have been like some shitty Labyrinth game, possibly. Probably, that's, yeah. that's probably. Oh, I was just trying to think of. Uh, Aaron, like, you have very PC different days. styles of music, but you do surprise us every once in a while with your John Mayer choices and stuff. <laughs> Were you a Bowie fan? Um, I was not a Bowie fan. Um, uh, I do know who the guy is because I watched Labyrinth. Um, and he actually was on Venture Brothers. Uh, oh, a pretty boss character on Venture he Brothers. He was the voice actor, or he was just like they spoofed him. You have you seen the Venture Brothers? Uh, isn't it like a hawk or something like that? What? He's no. a lawyer. No. There's no. No. Good lord. No. God. <laughs> there's a there's a character on named Brock <laughs> Samson who's like this man's He's man. Look it up now. Super Bowl buff guy. And he like beats up hair. everybody. Yeah. And like on one of the episodes, David Bowie was like his rival type of thing, and. uh they actually played Bowie pretty pretty epically on that. Yeah, was, was it actually him though? No, no, no. Oh, okay, no, no. okay. Um, so uh, you, uh, were you Kennedy. phased at all by this news? I was pretty uh, sure there was one. No, I was not phased. I mean, it kind of seems like these rock stars. Um, I mean, they're getting up in age, guys. He's I understand he he pay, he passed uh, from cancer. Mm -hmm. Um, but. I, I think we're around those. They're all in their seventies or you know eighties <coughs> now, and it's. Don't be surprised. How old is uh, the guy from Aerosmith? Aerosmith? Yeah, Aerosmith. <laughs> Rock band Aerosmith. Aerosmith. Uh, Answer see. is nobody Aerosmith. cares. Like, his name is Steven Tyler, first of all. How, yeah, that. how old is Steven Tyler? 110. I mean, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Give or take. Probably. Steven Tyler is 67 years old. Exactly. He looks 110. So let's, Cocaine's let's, a hell of a drug. <laughs> that is a yeah. hell of a drug. And they lived hard lives. Yep. Yeah. Like they lived hard, party hard lives. So going to be me. Whenever you see them in their 60s and stuff like that, it's like, all right, what what do you expect? You expect them to just be, uh, you know, up and at them? Yeah, exactly. No. And none of us start disagreeing with you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, David Webb? Yeah. The news, did it affect you at all? Are you a Bowie man? Uh, I, I'm like Aaron. I knew who the guy was. Um, I probably couldn't name any of his songs. I knew he was in Labyr Labyrinth. Um, yeah. I mean, it's like... You guys are failed. This, this is pretty disappointing. Uh, yeah. Dancing in the street. I remember that music video uh, that with him and uh, the Aerosmith guy, right? Stephen Taylor. Oh my god. Oh All my right. god. Yeah. Let's I'm, move on. I'm a rap guy myself. Yes. So. See, there it is. Yes. So if, if Dre falls oh off. Oh god. Yeah. Oh god. Then we'll know. Then we'll know. Yeah. Jada. Yes, of course. Favorite we'll Bowie song. Uh, Space Oddity. Mine too. That's the best, like one of his best songs by far, and then his uh, collaboration with Freddie Mercury. Um, Under on, pressure. Uh huh. That was him. Yeah, There's collaboration between that was him, and, Ice him Baby? and Queen. Yep. That no, it wasn't that's Ice Ice Baby. That was that was a. Uh, it's a top. Those are my top two. It's like a tie. Like I love both of those so much. 
I liked uh, The Man Who Sold the World. Mm. That was probably my favorite song. Uh, and I didn't even know it was him until, because uh, one of my favorite albums of all time was Nirvana's Unplugged album. And they did a cover of it. And at the very end, he's like, that was a Bowie song. And like 10 years later, I finally looked up the original version. Loved mm. it. Mm-hmm. So David Bowie, thank you for your service. Thank you for the memories. Your my amazing song, song was uh, Labyrinth by David Bowie. <sighs> yep. Moving on. Let's not let's <laughs> not uh, tarnish his death anymore. One more news story that if you guys have not checked out uh, before we get into the CES stuff, because we're going to get to there. And I'm not saying that like as a joke where, you know, I'll do that thing where I'll say we're going to get to something we never get to it. I promise this time Snoop Dogg <laughs> may be switching to PlayStation sooner than we thought, people. Uh was he always Question. on radar for Xbox? Yeah, how how soon did we think he was going to switch yeah. before? Uh, well, he was pretty diehard with the Xbox. Yeah. Yeah, he, he was, did, he did commercials, promo promos. Xbox and stuff like that. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, a message to Xbox One or Microsoft. Microsoft. Or Microsoft. The fuck, y'all fucking server is fucking whack, man. Y'all going to make me switch to PlayStation if y'all don't help me get this shit fixed. It's that difficult to play somebody online. What the fuck is you doing, Uh-oh. Bill Gates? Fix your shit. Bill Gates. <laughs> yes. When you call out Bill Gates, you better show up, Bill Gates, to Snoop's house and fix it. <laughs> Bill Gates himself. Yes, Bill Gates himself shows with up a screwdriver. With a screwdriver. <laughs> and he better. You know, open I was trying up. to cure malaria by giving kids in Africa tents. Nope. But no, Snoop. I gotta stop what I'm doing. Yep. So Snoop could play Xbox Live. No deal with Gucci Mane. So Snoop. First of all, Gucci Mane would never play. Those two would never play games together. Um, yeah, he needs to stop what you're doing because y- you got to fix your servers, man. You got to fix your servers. <laughs> yeah, so Microsoft. What the fuck you doing, Bill Gates? <laughs> Michael, Michael, uh, uh, whoever, whoever the fuck is in charge. Just yeah. so you guys know, you guys just blew getting Snoop Dogg on the show. Oh no, Snoop is all down for the show. No. He's, he's definitely down. He for lo- the show. He's a big fan of the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he oh, likes yeah? to, he likes to laugh at himself. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll make sure. Don't know that. I'll make him. sure. I'll make sure I ask him when I'm at the Grammys. Yeah. 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 You go up to Snoop Dogg and ask him. Say, say you've heard of the video game bang. You know, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Whatever. You talk all the time. <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> is you doing, Bill Gates? <laughs> That's like the new thanks, Obama. What the fuck is you doing, Bill so Gates? Put that oh, on, uh, if it's not, not if it's not the new thanks, Obama, we should make it the new thanks, Obama. To, yes. I think we need to rush to get a shirt printed. This is what the fuck is you doing, Bill Gates? <laughs> Whoa, thank you, hey. King James 101. You just got banged. LeBron James just uh, followed us. Yeah, he's also a big Snoop Dogg fan and a fan of EGB. Uh, if you guys are watching or listening rather to the podcast and you hear us go hey or thank somebody, it's because we do stream this show live on Twitch TV. Slash video game underscore bang. You got that? Got yeah. it. Uh, and if you want to join the conversation on Wednesday or Saturday nights, that's where you go to hang out with us. Uh, so, Jada, you have been on a magical journey. Started at SAC Anime. Yep. Mm-hmm. Where you got to hang out with uh, some people from Borderlands. Yeah, I got to meet uh, voice actors for um, uh, Gage, you know, the Mechromancer, Claptrap. Um, I met Ashley Birch again, you know, Tiny Tina. Uh, let's see who else was there. Uh, Handsome Jack was there. Got to hang out with him for a bit. And then I feel like I'm forgetting one more person. Um, Claptrap. I said Claptrap. Say Claptrap. Uh, uh, was Roland Ashley there? Actually, Roland. Actually, the guy who does Claptrap does Roland as well. Hmm. Same person. It all makes sense then. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. And I forget. God, I feel like I'm forgetting somebody, but I guess not. I think you hit them all. Probably. Uh, so I feel like I had five autographs. On, but I only named four names. Whatever. I'll remember. When Ashley I call Birch has been on this show once before. Mm-hmm. That's probably one of our best episodes. That's where we introduce Bitch You Guessed It <laughs> to the general public. Oh, God. Um, would love to have her back. Uh, any Anyone else you got to meet? Um, You know, I didn't really hang out to meet too many other people while I was there. Unfortunately, I only had one day, so my time was limited, and I got there late, so I missed the press roundtables. So I didn't oh, get a okay. lot. Of, I didn't get any, you know, uh, press priority. So I literally had to do that like on my own gumption, gumption, you know, just getting out there and like talking to people. So so CES, take us through <clears throat> that. You went oh there. Oh my god! Uh, somehow you turned like a five day show into an eight day vacation vacation extravaganza yes. with parties pretty much every night. A lot every of periscoping. Night. A lot of uh, interneting happening. Oh yeah, happening. yeah. I tried to I tried to Snapchat constantly through the whole time. I missed a whole day because um, somebody that I know who's going to remain nameless, um, David Webb. <laughs> 
I was literally just going to point this out. <laughs> got way too far gone, so I had to leave one of my parties that night, and because of that, I didn't get to charge my phone. Oh, shit. As soon as we get into the story, That's hilarious. where we're going to talk about all of Jada's exploits. Yay. What's your playing theme song happens? Damn it. I feel like I'm betraying you, Jada. You it? always do. It's always on me, too. It is you always literally on you. always. We never play it unless you're on the show. Oh, that's cool. Uh, <laughs> never play it. <laughs> Snoop Doggy Dog just joined chat. And nice. We just got banged. Hey. You know, somebody in our room was like, hey, my buddy's name is Snoop Doggy Dog. He no, texted him was like, you need more, to get him get on the likely, show. More likely, somebody in our room said, I'm going to go make a new account. Well, he, <laughs> Snoop Doggy watching. Dog. He said, so I'm on the show, or when am I on the show? Uh, whenever you want. Snoop. You know, you know. Honestly, I meant to Skype you guys while I saw you guys go live one night. I meant to Skype you while I was there, like partying and stuff Do like the, that. Do uh, the the whole report from yeah live from live from CES. CES, but my phone was way too dead. Uh, while we continue on with the show, Snoop Doggy Dog, let us know who you couldn't get on a connection with on Xbox Live, and we will put in a call to Bill Grates <laughs> from Bill Microsoft. Grates, uh. <laughs> Bill Grates at Microsoft. <laughs> uh, David Webb, what you been playing? Warframe. Warframe. Now, Warframe. is this game really the bee's knees? Yes, but in it's a, you're, in a you're, word. You're an, you're an in a al- word. You're okay. a s- alien space ninja. Yes, alien space ninja. All right. Yes, that sounds good on paper. What's awesome about it? Uh, what isn't awesome about it? You get a bow staff. You get to shoot people with a bow and arrow. You. How's the camaraderie ship? <laughs> Com- <laughs> it's uh, pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If yeah. I, uh, yeah, I don't know. Aaron and I have been playing it a lot. Mm-hmm. It's. Lot of fun. Moving on to Aaron, what you been playing? Warframe. Is that it? Have you uh, given up on the DC universe? No, I game? haven't given up on the DC universe. It's just it's just a newer game. I have maxed my character on uh, DC universe on the PC, so it's not like I'm in such a giant hurt, uh, rush to get back. Mm-hmm. But what I like about Warframe, first of all, 100 percent free. Everything that you can um, purchase purchase in the game minus uh, cosmetics. You can earn in the game. Mm-hmm. Um, it's the way that all free to play should be. The yeah. grinding does not feel like grinding to me when we're looking for parts for your, you know, your weapons or another Warframe that you want to use. Um, co-op is very easy to just jump in with friends. Um, it's just it's good. Everything like when you build items, it's all in real time. That's the only thing that can, or you can, you know, pay to rush the build. Mm-hmm. But um, I don't know. So far, I'm I'm waiting for like something to be like. All right, now this game is kind of repetitive yeah. or something like that. But it's just it's good. I we were going through all the missions on one planet yesterday, me and Webb, and I just it, it was good the whole time. Yeah. So if I'm just getting onto the Warframes, how long is it going to take me to Warframe up to the level that you guys are Warframed? And that's the other thing. It doesn't feel like, like there's no levels. There's, <laughs> there's yeah, no take levels. Take your idea of levels. It's crazy. Throw, <laughs> throw them out the window. <laughs> uh, even when there's like you know there's a difference in levels and stuff like that. Um, I saw the the peak of where that didn't matter anymore. I played with Jerry, who has a max leveled out character because he's been playing since you know the since day beta. one. Yeah, yeah, since beta. He's been playing since beta, <laughs> and we played a horde mode, and we were. Drilling through the first, you know, like twenty five, you know, Waves. rounds, and then all of a sudden, uh, I guess the two people that were with us, the two randos that were with us, were like, "All right, we got to go" or whatever. And then Jerry was like, "I don't think I can solo this." <laughs> and so <laughs> I was like, "Well, then we're just gonna fight." And we had like a difficult time trying to grind through that last round to get these items that we were trying to get. Yeah. But I was just like, "That's cool," because he's max level, he's maxed out, but they still have more to throw at you. That's more difficult. Good. So it's not like you're just blasting through enemies easily. Destiny. <laughs> can wow. we all form like a faction and work together? You can form is there a, a party clan. system. Is you can form a clan. The last multiplayer, massively multiplayer online game that I played, uh, only let you cruise in a party of three. Well, see, here's the thing. <laughs> yeah, we'll go right on that. Yeah. Because <laughs> and I paid I, a lot of money for this I game. I'm not going to mention the name of the game, but I paid. Upwards of over $100, and they let me have up to three friends. And you're telling me I could play this game with more than three? <laughs> I, I believe For four. free? I, I, think f- I, don't, I think four. Cause I think you it was four? F- maybe five. I, I think it's know. five. Well, if it was you two free. and yes. Jerry and you had two randos, that would make five. No, no, no. no he wasn't playing I that wasn't, day. No. Uh, it okay. was just me. And I'm, just try- I'm trying to remember when you look at who to invite to your squad. I'm trying to remember yeah, how, how many, many slots, slots are I open. Yeah. I think it's, it's at least four and maybe five. Yeah, minimum four. Put yeah. it that way. And minimum four? Minimum four. 
Maximum but, 100. But this game I paid a lot of money for only gives me three, Aaron. Do you understand how I don't believe you? But see, mm. here's the difference. It's just not your destiny to play with more than three people. Oh, I didn't see the name see? of the game. Yeah. Damn. Beans are out. <laughs> uh, you can Spilt customize the beans. You can customize your little ship if you want to, you know, with colors. Yeah. You and can apparently move the get, ship. You can move the ship while you're flying in the loading yeah, screen. Yeah, the That's game that you're cool. talking you about. You can actually move the, sp- <laughs> the ship? Yeah. yeah. You can. How much did you pay for the ship? Zero. None. It's the it's free enough. ship. How much free. do emotes cost? I Are there emotes? The, yeah, there's emotes. Oh, no, there I know is I have emotes. Like 36 they're of free. them. They're, they're free. free. Are you <laughs> freaking kidding me? Because <laughs> no. I did the meditation one, and you can't get out of the meditation without like actually going through and pressing like another emote first. And I was like, how the heck do I stop meditating? <laughs> and I just couldn't move. But wow. it was, uh, it's, no, it's, trust me, it's good. The only thing that's different from the other ones are you're not getting a whole bunch of different weapons. You know, it's not like you're looking for drops of weapons. Okay. You have your weapon, and you're building your weapon. So different upgrades, different perks, and stuff like that. You, you have, like, a sword made out of Legos. And essentially, basically. you're looking for new Legos to attach to it. Like we saw, yeah, it's all modular. We just saw uh, David Webb's class, and Jerry, for the first time, he said, this is the first time I've ever seen this. Uh, whenever he's David Webb's class, he had a sword. Whenever he swings it, a shockwave comes out. And like shoots, you know, he just shoots shock waves out of his. That's like, one. The other, the other one is, uh, if I'm if I run and I jump, I could take my sword and I slam it onto the ground, and like fire goes out. Just like real life. Yeah. Just like real life. <laughs> just, just like real life. <laughs> it's okay, a good man. game it's, if you're not I mean, playing Warframe. And apparently, Warframe is supposed to be coming to the Xbox One as well. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah. Jada, have you had any time to play games? Uh, I've been playing a lot of Ultra Street Fighter Four. I noticed. Yeah, lots of that. And then um, also, I got in some Vita time, so I was playing. I went back to Final Fantasy X. When's the last time you played Ultra? Ultra last night. I was at the, I was at I was down in San Francisco at the Foundry. I was playing against people. I got a, actually picked up a new sparring partner. Oh really? Yeah, he actually mains Cami, so it's good for me. It gives me a chance to learn a few new combos from somebody else. Um, I'm really, really been that same. I've been playing a lot of Street Ultra Street Fighter Four. Uh, I hit my first accomplishment where I played against Bags last night, mm. and I actually took a majority, a lion's share, we'll call it, of the games where he he I mastered his Cody. Mm-hmm. So he quit playing Cody, switched to Bison. I tooled him with bison but then he switched to blanca and i've only played against one blanca blanca is so mean and that was jerry blanca's trolley yeah you have to play a very specific you game play, against you blanca. have to play so different against blanca than many other characters i caught him with ultra uh-huh. in his ex rolly ball mm-hmm. once and it was the best feeling i've ever had in that game i jumped <laughs> out of my chair i was screaming and shit it was really really exciting does that mean anything to you aaron uh no okay <laughs> I, I I I understand the feeling of an accomplishment, definitely. Well, the timing has to be like perfect on that. Yeah, it doesn't happen very often. And y- so, when does five come out? Next month. Next month. So you will be switching. I'm guessing, correct? Yeah. Well, four is still going to be supported in tournaments. Four season. will well, yeah, be yeah, supported, but definitely. I'm I'm going to switch to five. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, because I thought about you were streaming Street Fighter the other day. What was it? Monday, right? Oh, no, no, Tuesday. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Um, I was going to go play. Because I was like, I got a PlayStation Four controller. And yeah, the D pad is perfect, you know, mm, for this yeah. type of. And you can play with it, right? You can plug yeah. your P- okay. Mm. And I was going to test it out, but Warframe got in the way, and <laughs> yeah. So you've got two on Warframe and two on Street Fighter. Yeah, mm. I see where the lines have been drawn. I would have been Mix streaming Blops Three yesterday on the PS Four, <clears throat> uh-huh. uh huh. But Amazon was dropping the ball, and it came in late, so I got it today. But have you ever had an a-, a late Amazon Prime shipment? Yes. Anybody? Mm-hmm. I've had it early. Yes, All my f- stuff I just ordered recently came early. If it's late, I've heard rumors, and this was the first time I had the opportunity to try it, because usually they're on point. But I decided uh, I was going to call in. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to be like a complaining, like, you know, but I wanted to let them know. I was like, hey, you know, I was supposed to stream this yesterday, and I ordered it, and it's been, uh, I ordered it, actually, it's way late. I ordered it last Thursday. Mm-hmm today and then it just got here today uh they ended up giving me an extra month of amazon prime and ten dollars nice. credited nice. My account. ten whole dollars huh? and it hey. was uh hey that's good money the struggle is real that's good money on amazon uh, white privilege that's what, that <laughs> is. Yeah, that's what i'm telling you <laughs> yep. no, i've done the white same thing privilege. goliath uh <coughs> in the chat is talking about street fighter 5 them getting rid of the focus attacks 
Uh, a lot of people are really excited about that. Um, Ryu still has and his, but... That was kind of strategic one. to me, though. I liked that. Yeah, it is. The one where you kind of, like, uh, are invincible for a split yeah, second yeah, yeah, or whatever, You can basically. absorb. You allow you, you absorb and hit yeah. and then counter. Yeah. Huh. Uh, Goliath has also recognized the Ivy Doom Kitty picture, so this is clearly a person who is... Uh, has eyes. Who has eyes. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely have a nice set of <laughs> eyes, Goliath. Eyes and Google. No, oh, whatever. Uh, <laughs> Jada, so let's finally crack the CES egg. Oh, my God. Egg. Um, so, I mean, I'm sure you guys all saw the videos of everything CES I posted. We we talked. Yep. Okay. Yep. Did you guys see them? Oh, yep. yeah. Yeah. We watched all of your videos. On the show. On yeah, the show. Bet, we we watched them the before show, bed. Before the yeah, show. I know. Anyways, I posted. Two, <laughs> She's like, yeah, fuck you. Yeah, right. I posted two days of snaps because I missed the third day. I missed the middle day of snaps um, posting. But I posted two days of snaps and it had me going through a bunch of booths, checking out a bunch of stuff. The after the nightlife and things like that. Um, and after parties for all the different uh, companies that were throwing them because almost every after party was sponsored by um, specific companies that were there at CES, the bigger companies. Um, but yeah, I mean, okay, so you guys have all been to conventions, obviously. Corey, I think your biggest one is Comic Con. San Diego, uh, right? Yep. Aaron, yours would be E3. E3 yeah. Web, yours is Twitch. TwitchCon? Okay, so. Jeez. Yeah. So Twitch, <laughs> uh, yeah, right. So uh, actually, biggest, I hate to burst yeah. your bubble, but I think Sec Anime was bigger <laughs> than TwitchCon. <laughs> yeah. So the biggest one was the basement. <laughs> yeah. The biggest yeah. one was the one I watched. So on TV. to put it yeah. as um, a perspective, just the scale of CES, mm-hmm. San Diego Comic Con has one of the biggest, you know, single hall convention centers. Uh huh. Triple that, and then add another building for CES. Wow. Well, wow. it kind of makes sense because. Look at the companies that go to CES, and like, there's an automotive section. Isn't oh yeah, there? yeah. There's the, the whole, the whole other hotel. So, um, you know, they're all of it's in like the Las Vegas Convention Center for the most part, and then they have they take over the Sands Expo at the Venetian. They take over that whole convention center, and that's where all the cars are. But, okay. Um, so that whole separate hotel is where you go to for all or seven convention centers where you go for all the car stuff. Um, what's the coolest thing you saw? Like, was there anything you saw and you were like, holy shit, like this is uh, real. So there is a car coming out. I have to look it up real quick. It's, um, a visker. Yes. It's a visker. I have is no it, idea what that is. They is don't it make Kia? noises when they No, it's up. not a Kia. No. Um, oh, it's the Batmobile one. So yes, it is the Batmobile one. Yep. Webb knows what I'm talking about. A Tumblr? It basically is what it looked like. Street uh, legal? Is that what we're talking about Heck here? Yeah, it's like a, s- oh, it's like the it. Tumblr take, sport. Fuck, I didn't take pictures. I just took snaps. Uh-huh. Um, you could search for it, like search Batmobile CES, and it'll pop I, up. I'm just trying to remember. Anyways, the car is called the F Zero. They named it the F Zero just because of wow. like, like that's how like advanced type they're going with this type of car. It's a single seater car. That's a single seater. It's a single seater. Good lord. Yeah. Um, and then they, it was, um, if I remember right, I'm trying to remember the specs from when I was talking to the PR person for it. Cause he was talking, he came over and started talking to me, gave me his card and stuff. So I got to follow up with him anyways. Um, that's, I'm a, a like information's gonna be a little scattered tonight cause I haven't followed up with anybody yet. Um, but, um, yeah, he's telling me like they, you know, they've off shifted like all the, um, uh, like the battery in the car, batteries in the car, like multiple batteries and things like that. It's, it's really weird, but super cool looking, just ultra sleek like it literally looked like a batmobile like this is the closest thing about it's an it's a conceptual design i was to say is this an actual car that's coming out or is this a concept it's a concept of, a, of so we of may model. never see it we may not ever see that specific one but he yeah. said that they are working on stuff similar to it gotcha. that will be what's the, the company name Falara. get your shit together Falara. Falara. Yeah. faraday future F. there you go faraday. Bill Gates. that's it <laughs> what <Faraday>. you doing <laughs> faraday that's what it was i need started the nef fix yeah. this shit faraday um, but yeah, you see the pictures now. Well, it's a video, so it's giving gotcha. me one picture, so I can't really like. Gotcha. Yeah, that's look it. At, I'm gonna. What about that's a one There's seeker. a lot of talk of refrigerators with like TVs and stuff in them. Did you get you to see what? these? You know what? I skipped all that shit. I was not what? interested in. What? It's the, it's the, you know what? Uh, stuff. Uh, I do not care about home appliances. Like that was part of the magic of CES. Sadly, was lost on me because it wasn't my main domain of interest. You know, you guys know me. I'm a gamer. Yeah. At heart. Tech is cool. I love getting new tech and new extra things. But if it's not going to relate to my life right now, I kind of don't care. 
So well, yeah, a lot of that tech is like five years off type of stuff. Oh yeah, and a lot of that stuff is super far yeah. away. Yeah, the TVs that can roll up, I guess. Did you I don't see that. that? Bad one. Yeah. Yeah. I want to see it though. Like, it was really I, cool. No, like don't get me wrong. All the shit, like even though like it wasn't like super exciting to me, it's still really cool to see. There was um there was actually a um, Panasonic had a mirror that actually analyzed your face and could see like your sunspots it can see all your pores you've got cancer so it insults so, you it, no actually well it didn't insult me but that's besides the point um but and it keeps track of that and you can keep a like snapshots of it and so you can track your like your health your skin health for that's pretty cool. like yeah, that, day to day for a whole year that's pretty cool so, I like keep that. track of that mole yeah, yeah so i'm watching motherfucker <laughs> yeah <laughs> i'm gonna check back on I got you technology in a month. <laughs> <bitch>. <laughs> but yeah so that was picking really up cool. on me but that was really cool panasonic had that um, I think my favorite non gaming thing that's still kind of gaming was, um, I, I like is, uh, there's this company, they're called a uh, laser tag pro. And so, you know, you go to laser tag, you have those heavy ass guns and everything like that. And you have to wear that, that chunky vest and everything like that. So the way they're doing it, and they've been around for a little while in Europe, um, no vest, you have a headband you wear that has okay. sensors on your headband. You have your gun, which has a sensor on the front of Head your gun. Headshots only. The yeah. gun is like a, it's like a full sized, you know, like battle rifle, battle rifle okay. literally. And um, there is a slot on the side to where you can clip your phone in, and that's basically your HUD. So that gives you all your options and stuff. And so you go out with your friends. Everybody's got one, got their own gun. You they like, snap their own phone in. You set up the game. You you know you push a button on your gun. Red team, blue team, capture the flag, domination, slayer, whatever modes you want to play. Um, the guns can be reprogrammed via QR code to change their type of weapon that they are. Oh, so you can cool. switch, you know, to a sniper rifle, which they have. They sell attachable scopes which actually work. I literally took the their, their one with the scope and aimed it down the CES floor. Wow. Probably did not look very good on me, but I was like, holy shit, I can literally see the other end of a hall. Like it was a really good scope on there. Like it was legit. That's pretty cool. The um, thing with laser tag, though, it's like. Because you're not seeing the beam come out of this thing unless it's like dark, right? Or no, but I mean, it had crosshairs and stuff. They had like targets set up, and I was like, I, I fire guns. I know how to shoot guns. I've mm. fired guns in the past. It's frightening. It is frightening. You should be frightened. <laughs> I mean, I'm a very, like I said, I walk very many, lo- many uh, walks of life, David Webb. You can come see me for counseling. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's who you want counseling you. Yeah. The, the gun shooting <laughs> yeah. Hanging out with Quentin Rampage Jackson, booze hound, gun toting. <laughs> Um, She's a Republican. You know yeah. <laughs> Obama. Um, but um, and so you know, I lined up my crosshairs and I was I was hitting every shot just because I knew where I was firing because I it was it was a very authentic feel to it. Here's That's a big question. Cool. Uh huh. When you choose Slayer mode, yes. Does some guy say yes? Slayer. Slayer. Yes, Slayer. he does. Slayer. Yes. You're joking. No, dead serious. I was being Double serious. I'm dead serious. I'm dead dead serious. Wow. It's freaking awesome. Yeah. Did you call the out the the kills? Yeah. Yeah. It calls out. Yeah. And you melee. Kill yes, tech. you can melee, but you, you can have melee to melee if yes. you want. You, can, <laughs> you don't actually. So the way melee. that I was about to get into it. So they actually, they have melee weapons. They have a tomahawk. They have a lightsaber. They have a Tony Hawk. They have. They do have a Tony Hawk. Mm. No, they don't. Um, they have a riot <laughs> shield. Tony Hawk. <laughs> <laughs> they have a riot shield. Hey guys. They have bows and arrows. So how do you? How do you? How do you melee though? Like so, basically, you when you hit melee, like well, it has, I, I was going to say yeah. they have melee in regular <laughs> one. You just you get kicked out. So they have accelerometers built into them, and okay. it's and it's um, tied to your sensors and stuff. And so we, you make that fast motion forward, and it sends out a cone, basically a short range uh, cone. Okay. So if anybody's within that cone range, they they'll get hit. I'm like just going to walk around swinging my gun around. Then well, it's not your gun. Range. It's it's your it's the melee weapon. My Tony Hawk. Yes, your so Tony Hawk. You don't actually throw it. You just make the you motion. Just make the and motion. Then you pocket it. Yeah. And you put it right back on your loop. Or if you want to run around with just the tomahawk, you can do that too. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, uh, what the uh, bitches? They even have the lightsaber, the lightsaber, like where if it makes contact and stuff like that, it's where, you know, because it's, it's, it's one of the nicer ones. So you yeah. can actually make contact and made the sound effects and everything like that. Like the guy was like, hit my arm. I was like, ah. sure? he's like, he's like, harder. I'm like, I don't want to, I don't want to hurt you. <laughs> like, Somebody like, was into the rough stuff. That's yeah, yeah. And so, um, but the lightsaber <laughs> yes, was really cool. Harder. Um, <laughs> The uh, the reprogramming of the gun, they had like I said, sniper rifles, rocket launchers, um, SMGs, shotguns. Um, what else did they have? Um, the bow and arrow. So the bow just has the string, and you just pull back on the string for your aiming, and it has like the reticle. It's like a um, compound bow. Um, and to reload, you have a quiver actually. You lift up, wow. you pull up an arrow to reload. 
That's pretty cool. Um, so much failure of the city would be going down right? if I had that. Exactly. <laughs> um, Until you walk a little too far into the wrong neighborhood. Right. <laughs> um, the, the arrows can be outfitted with special effects, ice, fire, that type of stuff to do. Jeez, they really thought time. deep into yeah. this whole. Wait, so when can we see this? It's already a thing in um, Europe. It's been a thing in Europe for a little for about okay, I when think can we see it in, in the real states? States? In the states. In the states, the they are. In yeah, the that's s- the magical world. In of- the states, they are working. <laughs> <laughs> In the states, they're working with a supplier right now and a manufacturer right now for the states side. Yeah. Um, I think they said Q2 of 2016, if I remember right. So not That's too not far, far off. off. Yeah, not very far off. Can you can you mute it? So if you're sniping somebody and you're hidden, yeah, and it doesn't say, yeah, headshot, and yeah. everybody knows where you are. Yeah, giant you can, speaker. Yes, you can. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. well, there's a speaker in the gun. So, but okay. yeah, you can mute you that. Can mute, okay. Prices. What are we talking? <sighs> That's, That's that was the tough question. part. See? The gun itself with one sen- one head sensor is three seventy nine. Ah. That's not bad. It's not terrible. No, 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 it's not, not terrible. terrible. And they did say that there are group that they, you know they're working group where discounts. if groups want to buy and discounts, yeah. which I think is amazing for what we're gonna see at first introduced are like paintball setups. Places that already do paintball setups mm. or laser tag setups that already do it. Yeah, yeah. They're gonna invest. They're gonna buy twenty guns. Yeah. They'll get the discount off of it. You know. Yeah. And they'll make their money back instantly. That's what I was thinking about more, not more yeah. individual. Purchase something yeah. companies yeah. buy yeah. But yeah. that boss tycoon shit. But yeah. um, <laughs> I want to. I personally, I want to. I'm gonna talk to him because I want to get him to send us a set. That'd be dope. To, Work to your magic. Go. I'm trying to join to do a video for him. Yep. Yeah, that'd be kind of so, dope. Um, and you, like, I mean, it's a great thing. Is you can go anywhere. You can go out into the fucking yeah. forest, and it just works. You have a smartphone. You, you, that's it. You don't need reception or anything like that. Because it's one just like an app. has a flip phone. <laughs> I can't play, guys. Oh, and, you, it, <laughs> and that's the great thing. You don't have to have a phone. Okay. If you don't have a phone, the gun will keep track of everything for you. Okay. Um, it has the start, the the end. You know, of the game, it signals all that. So you don't have any of this. Like, all right, everybody, count to ten, and we start. No, you. Wow. The whoever's the host on whoever has the host um set up enters the game first as host. They start the game. Everybody gets a signal on their phone. Or Except for Stan, who doesn't, doesn't have a, <laughs> doesn't have a phone. Did we start? <laughs> Somebody <laughs> give me a call on the flip phone. <laughs> <laughs> Still <laughs> using Nokia. Um, but, yeah, that was so cool. <laughs> and they have um, 3D printed grenades as well. So you can actually chuck the grenades and they'll explode in a radius or Good whatnot. Lord. You have to actually throw the grenades? Those you have to throw. Those you have to throw. Those you throw. So. Can you so just throw it sure at somebody? You... Yeah. You want to get as close as possible. Hit and the person. Poof! Say lightning bolt whenever you throw it. But, um, you have to say that. Lightning bolt. That. Lightning bolt. But yeah, it was uh, I will super too. cool. Like, that was really cool. I'm excited for that. I'm really excited mm. to see where that, where that goes. Real um, quick uh, yeah. question from chat. If you get shot, mm-hmm. do you respawn? It, uh, you'll, you're, you're, no. The, uh, <laughs> <laughs> She's really the, uh, excited. I am that. really excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. What happens? Um, is it um, like in God damn it, Toby, <laughs> damn it. I gotta go now. <laughs> um, you get your HP on your gun, your HUD on your gun will drop oh. until you die. And then, you know, you have, if you're playing Slayer, you know, first to 15 kills or whatnot, it'll give you a respawn timer right there on your HUD. Do you have a shield? Uh, yes. God yeah. It's like, yeah. It's, just, it's like, it's pretty much like. Are you going to invest yeah. in the company? I'm not. <laughs> How do they fix camping? Yeah. It's uh, an yeah, hour. Right? Yeah. It's an hour show. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Sorry. But yeah, the right shield. It's a really, really cool interesting too. thing. Okay. No, it's really cool. So I'm excited about it. I'll be doing some. I'll be doing some follow up follow up coverage and a full article on it really soon for it. Um, on to my number one pick though. Mm-hmm. Oculus. Just I I got to touch both. Bucks. I got to touch both um, while I was there. The HTC Vive and Oculus. HTC Vive was really cool because it has that um, sensor to where you could you can sense. Uh, it senses where an object is, so you don't walk into walls or okay. people <laughs> or things. Yeah. Um, because literally, the guy before me is going, and he literally walked up this close to this lady, Aaron. And he's just like just staying. Oh, and she, she, oh, she knew. She had no I idea. She knew, but he he had no idea. Uh, he just sees a wall, huh. or whatnot. That's so, cool. but it stopped him right before he collided with this okay, woman and knocked cool. her over because he was bigger than her. Wow. Um, so that was really cool. It was really good graphical. It was just kind of like a kind of look around underwater thing. The real question though is, yes. what's it going to do for porn? Uh, everything. Everything for porn. Yes. The fact that you can walk around and change your view angle and look where you want to look. <laughs> That'd just be weird, kind of. Like, you gotta see like, people, like, yeah. Like, <laughs> you're just gonna walk around this room. They're not looking at you to see you, and you're just kind of like crouching. You're gonna see a whole bunch of people just like <laughs> uh, contorted. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, what are someone? you looking at? So, Aaron, for you, actually, there's another one I played. <laughs> Is um, there a gay porn one for Aaron? <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> no, um, this one's actually, it was. Um, so, one of the ones, I went to this uh, like dinner event, and they, another company was showing off their. 
uh, VR one. I can't remember it off the top of my head. I'll have to look it up for you. But literally, I put it on, and I was at a soccer game. And literally, awesome. Yeah, and like you literally, so you just you're sitting on a couch. Basically, you can look around. You see the couch. If uh-huh. there's another buddy there with you, you can see you know each other's avatars and stuff like that. Um, but you can look at different um, little camera angles on the on the field, uh-huh. and it'll take you down to that camera spot. Okay, so that's I, what's cool. I looked yes. at one right behind the goal, and I was literally like corner of the goal, and I could see. Oh, okay. So they give you because there's already cameras all around. They're the there, field. exactly. Yeah, yeah. So they're tapping. So into they're just that. tapping. That's pretty that's cool. Smart. So yeah, that's like cool. you're gonna like. I think you'll really like yeah. that. That'll be huge for you. Oh, well, and VR. I like it because you're, you're not a, a soccer you're not a soccer fan. person. Or a oh, so it's only general. gonna be there for or soccer? Yes, only for soccer. I know more sports than Aaron does. Can you customize your avatar? Probably. How much okay. are emotes? Five dollars a piece. Wow. They are um, five, five. Five pieces of silver. No, yeah, because <laughs> like they get, yeah, the cameras already there. There's and a stuff stupid like that. amount of cameras already on the mm-hmm. field, so I know definitely like for soccer, like for football, I know they have the camera that's uh, over the field. Yep, that was that'd that be kind of pretty cool. Yeah, um, yeah, the 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 goal cam will be cool. Yeah, you, really I think serious. you'll really like that. That was so cool. Why is it just um, and you can also like this. you can like look this. you can turn around like too. if you look like turn completely around there's another um, option and it gives you like stats so you can see all the stats for all the oh, players okay. you like can see that. who's on the bench who's on the field there's like a field layout if you look down there's like a table and you can see everybody's stats how many minutes they've played there's a whole like sports center setup with like videos and things like that in another area that's you can look cool. at so I, 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 you're cool. gonna like that yeah, like for cool. VR why that's do you keep saying Corey only he's gonna like it I will love it I like soccer too damn I like to sport all the time I know. See, I'm not a big soccer fan, but I loved it. You know what? <laughs> to what burn. you would like is if, uh, MMA fighters start wearing like GoPros on their head. Oh god! No, I don't want to look, look, look like I'm yeah, getting my does. face punched. <laughs> in. You would love that. You would. You would love. You would that. love that. I don't want to get punched. Yes, you do. You would love that. I see Corey sitting there. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh! Dodging Rampage! Me, but... Rampage! What are you doing? No, Holly! No! Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um, by far, though, I saw Oculus. You know, stole my heart at that show. But six hundred dollars. Come on. Fuck, I'm pre ordering it. I don't care. Oh, wow. Really? I don't care. Really? So good. Must be nice. Is it, it is, is it so a, good. is it an easy setup? Yes. I don't is it just like yes. right into a just cameras USB. B. set up cameras. Bam. And you put on the headset. I mean obviously you have to have your computer programmed and upgraded yeah, and stuff yeah. enough, so I'm gonna have to upgrade my RAM on my computer before I can use it. And What's I think the my minimum graphics RAM? card. They posted it online. I don't remember off the top of my head. I want to so. know whenever I'll I'd buy it when the soccer thing comes out mm-hmm. for like six hundred bucks. Full 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 fledged. So you can go view all his soccer all, games. Here's the thing: if they let me have like the soccer package to where I can see all the the leagues that are broadcast, then yeah, I'll wow. do six hundred bucks for that. Aaron, I don't even think you're gonna spend six hundred dollars. That's on your living arrangements. Nah, I probably won't. Um, that's that's perfect. He'll have plenty of space to walk around and look around I'll, the corner. <laughs> but I'll be in Italy watching. Yeah. <laughs> series A, and yeah. it'll be amazing. It was so, so there cool. It is. That was so cool. Um, so Oculus, I got a private demo. I got to play Bullet Train. I don't know if you guys have seen the videos for Bullet Train. Fucking awesome. So it's the it's the Oculus Touch. So they have the touch. They have these little devices. I posted a video on YouTube of me. Um, on my Touching. YouTube channel, holding the controllers and actually playing it. Mm-hmm. You can't show. We couldn't show any of the gameplay footage actually. Of course, which sucks. But um, basically, you start out and you're you know, on on a subway train, and you know they're giving you simple directions. You know, push X to teleport. So you point your left hand, push X where you want to teleport, and you teleport. That's your movement because you don't actually walk around. Okay. Um, and then there's you know there's two triggers on the back for your two fingers, and then there's two face buttons up on where you're for your thumbs. Um, so, you know, you use that to grab, you look around, you can see your hands in this one. So you can use it to actually reach down and grab guns off of spawn points. So I'm grabbing mm. those and then, you know, you're aiming just where you'd aim to shoot. Just like supernatural. Was it all versus computer? Or all versus AI. AI yeah. For okay. the demo. Okay. Um, and the, and the, obviously the AI was running a little, was on the slow for people, you know, cause everybody's picking it up and learning. I, I still can't remember how to, I couldn't figure out how to reload. <laughs> for the life of me, I was like, point off screen. Nope, that's what I tried. That <laughs> I literally tried. I was like, there is no off like, screen. Like, God damn it. We're in a world <laughs> yeah, digital. Weird, yeah. yeah. Um, but I mean, I'm sure it was just a button for reload, or it might have just been single clips. I can't remember. Um, but there was just at, by the time I needed to actually reload, there was just too many enemies. Uh-huh. Like I was literally like bouncing around, firing, like just spinning in circles, shooting people. It was fucking that's fantastic. Um, when you go to teleport, you slow down time. And so it allows you to, you can actually, if you're not holding a gun, you can grab bullets flying out of you out of the air and fling them at people. Wow. So I literally would grab bullets, teleport to somebody, fling it right in their face. 
Um, or I grab like there's one point um, during my video on YouTube, I grab like four bullets. You can see I go boom, 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 and just like chucking bullets at people. Wow. So cool. Like I teleported at one point and um, it like my tele like the force of me teleporting knocked the dude back and then I headshotted him with the shotgun. It was Jeez. fucking it was just amazing. Like, like that's <clears throat> probably a, an awesome game. But like, how do you market that to get? everybody on it when you show like the big what they'll need to do to market it i think is they'll need to show a side by side is they literally need to show somebody playing it like i was but also show the game screen like i wish i could have video captured that because it looked fucking fantastic Mm. can you video capture it no not not there obviously but like like if you buy it i'm sure i mean i'm sure you're You're up to your pc so you should be able to video capture no problem peter can do everything Um, right yeah no (laughs) um but that was super cool i played another one called um chronos which is a third person action. So your vision, what you see is just the camera. So you look around, you're the camera. So mm. you have, it's um, isometric view to start off, like kind of old school Resident Evil, so where okay. each room you walk into, it's one angle. But you can look around to see where enemies are, items are, and stuff like that. Um, it played a lot like, um, it's a, a very, it's like a culmination of um, Ico slash Shadow of the Colossus. Um, Zelda and Resident Evil. Mm. There was a lot of like item collecting where you had to, you know, like, oh, this, you know, you need a key for this door. You have to go run around and find a key. Oh, you need a, you need a handle for this crane to turn the, uh, the crank. Um, a lot of that. There was giant bosses that I, I died the first time I played because I didn't see where I was turning a crank and it woke up the boss. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, oh, I got to run back past him. So I, I dodged the first stomp and then I ran behind him. And I was like almost there and he sprinted and just stomped on me. Like I was like, oh, you're not supposed to go that way. That raises another question with this. You buy the Oculus Rift for six hundred. Uh huh. The games, how much are those going to be? You know, I didn't ask that. That I are forgot to like ask that. that are like catered. Like if the Oculus Rift comes with like, I know it comes with Lucky's Tales. Games. It comes with Lucky's Tales, which is uh, Insomniac's little um, action adventure first person mm-hmm. one. Which I think he plays a squirrel. I don't remember what it is. Um, and it comes with one other game. I think Bullet Train. I think it actually does come with Bullet Train, if I remember right. The number um, one Reaper wants to know, is it really worth $600? I think it is. Like, I honestly did not go into it. I was like, as soon as I saw $600, i am like, fuck no. But after playing it, getting your, it's so different once you get your hands on it. It's addicting. Like, I wanted to go back and play more and more and more. That's all I wanted to do the rest of the show was play Oculus. Because it was just... Being in that virtual world is just amazing. I mean, I want to live in a virtual world. It may so. be worth it, I think, if you look beyond... Uh, it just being a gaming peripheral. Yes, exactly. If you see it mm-hmm. as the future, like they say, you're going to be able to have doctor's visits with this thing. Mm-hmm. Really? Well, they did have like, Surgeon Simulator. It seems like John f- is not, should never be a surgeon. I think in five to ten years, we'll never have to leave the house. No, yeah. that's, that's pretty much Because you could already Amazon now mm, I'd anything say 15, 20. you want. And now with VR, you'll be able to meet people face to face. Like you can go to the bank, maybe, or you know, like have a doctor's visit. I don't know. I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like where the world's going. The, you're not gonna have a doctor's visit. Doctors be one. Doctors would be really weird. rough. Like you'd have to have. You'd have to like for the the elite one percent of the world. Yes, they will be able to do doctors because they'll have a specific machine. That they'll be able to own and have in their house that costs you know a million dollars. Yeah, but even still, that's not going to be V one. Therapy like sessions though for therapist Jada, three. you're going to be able Heck to yeah. have. Yeah, I'll be able to VR do VR therapy. For that I'll be able to do that would be for sure. I'll be using my Oculus right nope. off the bat. Like. <laughs> <laughs> for the doctor's visits, we'll whip your dick out. All right. <laughs> I just want the sports stuff. I just want to be on the side of the field. I, I'm going to wait. Know. I'm going to wait until there's a price drop. Well, it. they will. Be. Oh yeah, for there sure. Yeah, I know be. there will be. That's why yeah. I'm not. I'm not. And then in a hurry. that's because w- it'll be when version two comes out of it. Exactly, yeah. version two. The slim, the Oculus. I may. Slim. <laughs> Oculus. Yeah, Oculus. That's S. another. It's just an eye patch. It's another thing. <laughs> 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 it's the Nick Fury edition. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's it was three D. It was uh, Avengers. It was uh, super comfortable. Like I felt like I could wear that the headset for hours on end and mm-hmm. still game like I normally that's do, good. which was really good. So speaking of, we got. A budding PC gamer in our midst, Aaron Carter. Uh, Who's that, uh, Webb? Mr. Webb. Yeah. yeah. Now, the story of Webb goes something like this. Wow. About two months ago, maybe more, David Webb decided, I'm going to build a PC. Yep. And I'm going to build a gaming rig because I need to do it for streaming. And he proceeded to annoy the living shit out yep. of anybody who knew anything <laughs> about a computer. I was safe. You were safe. Aaron, yep. no one's going to go to you for computer advice. Uh, I think I asked surprised. you one or two questions like, what kind of processor you have? 
And to which, which Aaron yep. said, I said a it's pencil. A <laughs> he, he doesn't know. Yeah, I don't know. So uh, you ended up getting a PS4 and then kind of canning the idea, right? Yep. And we were all very happy about this. <laughs> and then I get a message from David Webb with a link to a Best Buy ad of a Lenovo tower that cost like 650 bucks. Yeah. And was, I, I threw up. I, Why is that? Right where I was sitting, I threw up all over the desk. As you should have. Uh, because for $650, it was terrible. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, for $650, this thing was weak. S- like, like, give me, Don't get me wrong. 650 is a great price for a PC if you're building it. Yeah, no, exactly. That that's where I went to I went to Bags and I said, Bags, we have a problem. David's back on this PC thing again. But now we have a number. Let's build him a PC. Let's show him why you build your PCs. Mm-hmm. So we went to the builder, put together a sweet little rig, uh, that doubled the one he was gonna buy in just about every single uh area. Yep. Half the price. This- same price, the, maybe a little maybe less. twenty dollars more. We did everything we could to cut yeah. it to budget, hmm. and he bought the pieces. And this weekend, we are putting the bad boy together. Nice, yep. I'm very excited. So uh, we're gonna watch Webb do most of it. We're just gonna supervise. Yeah, because you got it's like it's like a Jedi's lightsaber. You have to build it yourself. You have mm-hmm. to build it yourself. You can have like some Jedi masters. You can have counsel support. you. You'll yeah. have the master, Obi Wan, uh, Bags Novi. You'll That's have terrible. a Jedi That's Knight terrible. who's done a few. It's not a master, but I'll be there. And we're going to build you a nice little gaming rig. So I'm excited. If you're out there and you want a PC game, don't buy a tower. No, For whatever never, price you never. could find a, pa- a tower, you can build one yourself that's twice as good. Yep. Yep. And unless you're stupid, sure, yeah. unless you're stupid rich. If you're stupid rich, fucking buy one. Yeah, then go buy an Alienware. Just go buy a brand. Yeah. Yeah. Just go buy a fucking name brand, like the the main name brand. Don't buy a Dell or some other garbage. Adele. <laughs> yeah, Adele. You can buy Hello, Adele Hello, Hello too, yeah. from the other. Yes. Can you Adele. hear me? I paid four hundred for mine. It's Did you? Pretty fine. It's pretty fine. You paid four hundred. Pretty fine. Was it put together already? It was made by some New York company. Yeah. Terrible. Gaming. Steven gaming, did it too. Gaming since gaming wants to know terrible. if you guys are gonna stream it. Uh, you should, right? I would. I don't know. What day are you building it? I don't know. I saw, here's the thing, people. I love streaming as much as the next guy, but I also like to do shit and not have to worry about being entertaining. Well, who says it won't be entertaining just doing that? Uh, I've streamed know, making show notes that people were I watching. I know, and Aaron, <laughs> you love people watching you, though. You're like a reverse voyeur. I... <laughs> I don't of. like the. No, I don't like to be actually, watched all the time. Like I, I actually have, is a voyeur. That would be that would be the definition of voyeurs. I thought they like to watch. No, voyeurs are people who like to be watched. I could swear, yeah, they. I don't know. Whatever. Don't. People can watch me. That doesn't matter. Yeah. So you don't care. I, I, I have to like work myself up to streaming every Tuesday. Really? Like, it doesn't come easy. I, I don't like to. I mean, I like the people who show up for the stream generally. But for the most part, I'm just, yeah. <laughs> but I, I had a good group last night. It made it oh. good. Oh, well, what a dick <laughs> for another time. Check us out this Saturday for Aaron Carter's weekend show, the video game being live where we will feature his little brother for uh, the real David Webb for Jada and Aaron Carter. My name is Hi. Corey Vincent uh, and you've just been banged. Like that.